Outside the John Adams Courthouse Thursday was a quiet fight for dignity. Disability rights advocates from Second Thoughts, Massachusetts, and not dead yet, held a rally to oppose court-ordered assisted suicide. Their presence stems from the 2016 case Kligler v. Healy, in which Dr. Roger Kligler, a retired physician battling prostate cancer, argued it is unconstitutional to prosecute doctors who supply lethal medication to terminally ill adults. Suffolk County Court rejected his lawsuit, maintaining assisted suicide is manslaughter, but the plaintiff appealed the ruling to the Supreme Judicial Court, which is now hearing oral arguments. End of life is a complex issue, yet advocates from today's rally stand firm that having a disability or terminal illness is not synonymous with a low-quality life. I'm someone who actually originally was all for assisted suicide until I learned that it's all about disability and that the uh, top reasons in Oregon um, were actually about disability, about fear of depending on others, loss of control, um, loss of dignity. And this is, is really all about perpetuating an ableist bias in our society. We all have an inherent dignity and worth and we don't lose that when we become ill or older or disabled. According to a Harvard study, 82.4% or so of physicians across the United States think that disabled people automatically have a lower quality of life than non-disabled people. And those are the same biases that result in disabled people being coerced towards assisted suicide and being denied care for mental health and depression um, and other such issues. And we are a group of disabled people here um, who live very happy lives. Obviously being disabled comes with its challenges. It's not all sunshines and rainbows, um, but our lives have value. We are capable of happiness and we shouldn't have our lives um, taken away just because other people don't see that. Assisted suicide as an issue belongs in the legislature where people can advocate and lobby our legislators. Just like uh, the judge at the superior court level ruled three years ago, we do not think that this issue should be decided by seven elites with a research staff. We also are talking about that this issue is all about disability. All the reasons out in Oregon and California are because people are distressed about their increasing dependence as their disease progresses. Whether it's loss of autonomy, feeling like a burden, incontinence, loss of so-called dignity. We're here to say that we uh, demand equal rights and equal protection under the law.